Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I don't know if you knew about this uh, National Review article, Conservatives Against Trump. I was puzzled by this because I couldn't understand why conservatives, supposedly conservatives, are going after Trump with great fury when, you know, they support People like Marco Rubio, who is an open borders globalist. Uh, Bush, Jeb Bush, who's basically liberal. McCain, they uh, didn't have any problem with him. And Romney, who's wishy washy moderate or something. Well, here's some of the uh, ones. A lot of Americans think it would be, be better to have a businessman than a politician as president, and I sympathize with him. And he's talking about Trump from a libertarian point of view, and I, and I think serious conservatives and liberals would share as you Trump's greatest offense against American tradition are founding principle are his nativism and his promise of one man rule. That's BS. That is bullshit. He's not promising one man rule. Not, so, not since George Wallace has there been a presidential candidate who made racial and religious scapegoating so central to his campaign. That's incredible. <laughs> That's that's serious BS. That is incredible bullshit. So, here we have somebody who pretends to be a conservative, but uh, looks to me like he's uh, one of these anti-white liberals. So let's take a look at Brent Bozell. Uh, long-time conservative leader Richard V. Gurry has a simple test for conventional and conservative. Does he walk with us? So, this guy doesn't like Trump, apparently, because Trump's not a member of the good old boy club. Uh... And he talks about McConnell, Hatch, Boy Boner being uh, calculating cynical charlatans, uh, which they are, but uh, you never had any problem when McCain was running, as far as I know. Mona Sharon, I'm very disappointed in her and this. In December, public policy polling found that 36 percent of Republican voters for whom choosing candidate was most conservative on the issues was pop, top priority and said they supported Donald Trump. Uh, there can be, I'm going to skip down, but there, but well, one thing that there can be no debate about is that Trump is no conservative. He's simply playing one in one of the primaries called Unreality TV. Well, he's not as conservative as I would uh, like, but uh, he's about the only one who seems to understand and care about what people actually want. Trump has made a career out of egotism, while conservative implies certain modesty about the government. The two cannot mix. I'm very disappointed in uh, Mona Sharon. Don't know who this guy is. Ben Domenech. He's talking about uh, him being a Trump being a Hitler, which I would disagree very sharply. Comparisons are extremely inept. 
I'm not going to go all through all of these because I don't have time and but I'm just going to read the names there's a whole bunch of them but uh, my point here is that when Thomas Sowell is on this list I was really disappointed with him but here's my point on this I was actually listening to Jim Quinn on WarRoom.com on the radio, and he uh, came up with this Breitbart article. And apparently, here's your answer. Trump wants to secure the borders and uh, try to protect this country from the influx of illegal aliens, because they're just pouring across our borders. We're being invaded as we speak. And it turns out, many of these so-called conservatives are actually open borders globalists, which means they're liberals. If you're an open borders globalist, as far as I'm concerned, you're a liberal. Trump is a nationalist, and he wants to protect our borders, which is what we've been wanting uh, Rubio Marco Rubio is an open borders globalist and as such he is on my no vote no matter what list so I, th I think uh, Breitbart's got it right here these are open borders uh, globalists who are complaining very disappointed with Mona Sharon and Thomas Sowell. But, you know, Paul Ryan, he's another open borders globalist. And they don't have any problem with him. I mean, you can get liberal after liberal in uh, the Republican Congress, and they don't have any problem with it, but when... Trump comes along, he's independent, he says, we're going, we're going to get the border shot, we're going to get this country, make America great again, that's out of bounds. See, a lot of people are going to uh, lose revenue if you get the border shot, because they want the cheap labor, that's where it is, and in the meantime, it's going to wreck this country. So I think that's, uh, I agree with Breitbart, I think this is probably... The answer here, Breitbart's mentioning the Evangelical Immigration Table, a George Soros finance group of far-left activists and evangelical leaders releasing a six-point appeal calling on Congress to bring in even more Syrian and other refugees to the U.S. Hang on, it might be worth it to me just bring that up. Well, uh, here's the evangelical immigration table. And they got all sorts of open borders globalists on here. Uh, these are New World Order evangelical preachers. I thought I saw Pat Robertson on the uh, thing that's going the little slideshow there pretty sure I did but that's what we have going on Ronnie Floyd never heard of him Alec Hill this is why I don't trust Christianity anymore I mean these people are selling us out Paige Patterson, Southern Baptist, Susie Paytner. Philip Riken. So here we have all these uh, signatories. And these are supposed Christians. But they're selling our country out. They want open borders. They want 
our country to be flooded with illegal aliens, and they want, which of course is breaking our laws. You know, need I say more? I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna take a look around the site and hang on. Okay, uh, here's the big long list uh, of evangelicals or open borders globalist liberals. And there's too many of them to read here. So, but, you know, this is why I don't trust religion anymore, is these people have turned against us. Best thing we can do is get those borders sealed. I would keep the Syrians out too. Well, we need we need to get control of the situation. I'm not a big fan of Trump's plan, by the way, about uh, excluding Muslims. For the simple reason is how we tell, they can sneak them in not wearing any beards or Muslim garb, and it's just not going to work. I don't, I wouldn't be opposed to it on a temporary basis, but it's just not going to work, in my opinion. Well, there you have it. Um, many, many of these are uh, fundamental, so-called fundamentalist Christians. And they want to sell our country out and bring in all of these illegals. The Christian community has been bringing in tons and tons of illegals. This is why I stopped. This is why I'm no longer religious. Uh, I don't think the Bible actually says what it, these people are claiming it does. Right, here's your answer. I agree with Breitbart. Uh, these are open borders. I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to say they're open borders globalists. This is big time liberalism, no matter what they call it. People may claim that they're conservatives in other uh, fields, but they're actually open borders globalists. Same old game. Bring them in, get cheap labor. Screw America. Well, screw you people. Go Trump. That's what I have to say, folks. Go Trump. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.